In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for AGF plus KBr. This is silver fluoride plus potassium bromide. When we do net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that makes it kind of easy there. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So we know that potassium compounds, they're going to be soluble. So we can write AQ. They're going to dissolve into their ions there. They're aqueous. The silver compounds, those are the ones I want to look up. Silver is kind of odd. So let's look at silver on a solubility table. So we find silver down here and then fluoride. We'll look at silver fluoride first. So for silver fluoride, we see an S. So it's soluble. It's going to be aqueous. Silver fluoride will dissolve in water. We look at the bromide. So we kind of go over here. Here's our silver bromide. It says I. It's insoluble. So silver bromide is going to be insoluble. It'll be a solid. Let's go back to our equation. So we said silver fluoride is soluble. It's going to be aqueous, dissolve, and dissociate into its ions. Silver bromide, that's going to be insoluble. So it'll be a solid. Put a little S there. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver will always be 1 plus the fluoride ion 1 minus. So we have Ag plus, and I won't write the states till the end, plus the fluoride ion F minus. Potassium group 1 on the periodic table, that's going to be a 1 plus bromide ion 1 minus. So we have K plus plus the bromide ion, that Br minus. Those are the reactants. The products, we do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just write Ag Br. We leave it together. Then we have a plus and a minus here. So we have plus the potassium ion and then the fluoride ion. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. Let's see. We have F minus here in the reactants and in the products. So that's a spectator ion. We have the potassium ion in the reactants, and in the products. Spectator ion, cross it out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for AGF plus KBr. Let me clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver fluoride plus potassium bromide. You'll notice that charge is balanced. We have a positive and a negative. They balance out net charge of zero, and the atoms, they're balanced as well. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AGF plus KBR. Thanks for watching.